on C4. Okay, more four. check, so which is known as Bogo Indian, right? But after mm -hmm. Bishop D2, you do not trade, but go to E7, Knight C3, and castles short. You pretty much allow White to go E4. Well, then the play gets very complicated, and surely that is what Abduzatorov wants, because after E4, D5, then we have one of the sharpest lines. And, well, Yakubov says, absolutely, game on. I'll take your challenge. Evo yeah. is there. Yeah, but that's what you do, I think, when you're in a must-win situation. You should not ignore the most principal moves. Mm -hmm. That's very kind of harmful mindset. So you say, okay, this is dangerous. I'll play something safer, something safer. And you end up in a worse position, like with no, no chances, strangely. Mm -hmm. and so I totally support going E4. And then... What would you, what would you think to be? C, D, e, D, and e. Well, you have a choice, you can push forward. Yeah, like you go E5 immediately or take first. Yeah, okay, he's gone E5, Knight E4, then he C, captures D, on D5. Knight C, D, takes D2, was played. C, D5, D5, Bishop D3, Knight takes D2, yes. Uh -huh. So E takes, Bishop D3, Knight D2, Win D2, Win D2, and, Knight D2 C6. and Knight to C6. Looking good for white. Well, uh, well we still depends. Have, depends. Like we still have that imbalance, right? right? Black this right. time has the bishop pair, and uh, White does have a fantastic bishop on d3. You know, d4 is a potential target, and from you know, from my experience in Bogo Indian, that f4 would mean that White's center is completely secure. Like mm -hmm. with the pawn on f2, it's not kind of not as much. Mm -hmm. So castle short. Bishop G4. And the bishop, bishop came G4. out to put pressure on the center immediately. You can pull the bishop back to E2. Yeah, and he does. Bishop E2, yes. F6. F6. Very thematic right. in his position to play F6. Right. And now the question is, how is White going to react? Remember, Yakubov just needs a draw to take that's first a, place in the That's a weak pawn, you know. So H3, bishop H5. Do you go G4? No, that's exactly <laughs> something that you would like to avoid, right? Yeah. But other than that... Rook D1 or Rook, rook D1? Rook to E1. Rook A1 D1. to... Oh, oh D1. D1. D1, yeah. Okay, so saying H8. like... Whenever we trade everything, D5 will be hanging. Yes. Yeah. King to H8. Very Understandable. Solid. Understandable. Uh, question mm. is, can white or should white push the pawn to E6? Because queen d6 now is not that nice because of knight b5, right? So Another e6. Another principal move, rook f1. Just uh, rook F1. centralizing yeah. the rooks. Well, also now preparing, time. yeah, at some point. Preparing, right? But also now it's decision time for Abdusitorov. Does he eliminate the tension in the center, trade some pawns, or is no. he going to... No. He's going bishop f7. Bishop f7. But now, but now it means you can just pull the bishop to f1 maybe. And it's or b5. Or b5. Or, b5. Mm -hmm. or back to d3. And it's gone to b5. b5 bishop to b5, is. yeah. Because yeah, one thing you, you'd like when you're happy with the draw is... Ah, bishop you know, h4 and back to e2. And Abdul Sattar has to, has to find another move than bishop f7. He cannot yeah. afford repetition. Mm -hmm. Bishop h5, bishop e2, right. So if you take on e5, what happens? Just knight e5, right? And are the clock times correct for Abdul Sattarov? No, he's down to... F f whoa, he's got a serious time advantage. Just yeah, having yeah. used, um, well, 20 minutes on the clock. 20. Two minutes. Two minutes on the clock. 20 minutes? Can't Not be. 20 Did I say 20 minutes? <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, A6 stops bishop b5, and yeah, white has to look for another way. Maybe A3. I think A3 is a good-looking move. A3... But what's, what's the idea? What's the idea? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, 
No, you really want to kind of get rid of this tension here. Is it a time to play G4 now and then Bishop F1, Bishop G2? It's, it would change the nature of the game, right? Exactly, yeah. And Queen C2. Queen C2. Rook e8, you know what's going to happen. Bishop take d3. It's cynical. I know it's this is by far not the best move in the position, but that's what you do yes. when you only need a draw. Just get rid of any any possible danger. And Goes back to f6. All right. Can you still... No, play? the white king just approaches. Oh, king f3. So now king the king is in the square, right? Yep. Bishop e6. And now you can trade only seven. He captures on d three still not obvious but and yes they shook hands and that is it that is that it with is it. two victories Nordebeck Yakubov is the winner of the Qatar Masters Open and what a sensational result for the Uzbek player. I mean who could have predicted it. This is one of the strongest opens in the world. Magnus Carlsen is here, Hikari Nakamura, Anish Giri. But the champion is Nordebek Yakubov. What a performance. Well done. Yeah, well done. Very well done for both of them.